Hey, Sassy Gang. It's your girl, Sandra. And today, we're going to be doing this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hair tutorial. So today, she's getting ready for her first ever photo shoot. And I wanted to come up with something new that I haven't seen before and something to be real nice and flashy. And this is the look I came up with. So if you guys like this video, I mean, if you like what you see so far, then stay tuned for the rest of the video in case you want to replicate it or, you know, come up with a style similar, whatever you want to do to throw your little possess on it and that's that so let's get right into this video okay so first i want to show y'all i just blow dried her hair and that's the only thing i did um i put leave-in conditioner in it by johnson and johnson and that's the only thing i've used for her hair to blow dry it so that's what i'm showing you guys right now i cut her her ends also and Right now, I'm just going to give her a part more so to the side than in the middle. And then, I'm going to use this Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Edge Control Smoother. It's for dull, drying, and all, you know, that kind of hair. And she tends to have dull and dry hair, so I figured this would be the best thing for her. So this was my first time actually getting this product for her hair and it works so lovely. So I will recommend Carol's Daughter Edge Control, which I got it off of Amazon Prime. So if that's what you're looking for, it was very inexpensive also. So I'm just going to get the part as straight as I can and then I'm going to give her another part going halfway across her head. And that'll be the box ponytail that I'm trying to accomplish. So I got everything going in normal speed for you guys. So I want you guys to get the look. I want you guys to get every detail of the look. Um, when I do the other side, I will take it off camera and start back on the back so every you know what i mean so you know how each side is supposed to look so i'm just using some edge smoother just so i can get this part as straight as possible the parts take the longest in any hairstyle i ever did <laughs> literally the parts take forever because a lot of people want straight parts or whatever and that's what you just want to do you want clean even parts as even and clean as possible as you can get it so yeah, that's what I'm trying to accomplish right now. So that part is crisp enough for me. So I'm going to tie uh, the back of her hair off because I got the section that I need. So I'm going to bally that up. I think I added too much exposure. <laughs> editing in his video but you guys can get the concept um anyway so at this point i'm just still was trying to get her part as straight as possible so i'm going to flip her over i'm going to Start smoothing her edges and her hair down with this olive oil styling gel. Um, it's worked really good on her hair. I don't like to use like heavy, heavy products like stuff that get like Eco Styler left for a lot of white stuff. So this watery gel is the best for her hair. I've noticed. So um, yeah, I just use that and the Carol Sorter Edge Control that I showed you guys. And that's the only things that I'm using to slick her hair at all. Because um, the Equal Style, like I said, it left a white residue. Um, the Gotta Be Gel, it left white residue. Like a lot of stuff in her hair leave white residue. So I took a lot of that stuff out of her hair um, routine and products that I use for her. And I'm starting her with a whole bunch of different things that will work good for her hair. Because at first I didn't know um, her hair was 4C. So I was using any kind of products for her hair. And you cannot do that. You got to have, you know, 
products that their hair can withstand, keep moisture in it, and, you know, keep growing. So I'm just using this edge brush of hers just to slick all of her hair up until I notice, okay, I want to put a braid right here. So to show off her hair because I'm, I'm going to put everything in buns and stuff, twisties. So I'm going to show off her length a little bit. So I decided to add these two braids to each side of her head. So at this point, we're going to begin a braid. Just so it can fall right in her on the side of her face. Also, while doing this video, I also noticed that I could have actually did them in twisties, like you know, little twisties. Uh, so just just food for thought in case you guys want to try something different. You can actually do two twists on the side, and I think that will look really nice with this hairstyle also. So basically, I'm just going to braid this braid all the way down, and then we're going to continue with the rest. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to grab all her hair and I want to make sure it's slick. I'm going to add a little bit more edge control to the front of her hair. I'm going to smooth that with my hands, pick up her edge brush and brush that in, comb that in. And then I'm going to take two elastic bands. And I take two because I think two is better than one. So I take two elastic bands and I'm going to wrap her hair until there's no more room into the elastic band. So with these elastic bands, they could be tricky. A lot of people say they pull out your hair and a lot of clients to say, oh, you know, but rubber bands does not. I will repeat, if you know how to use them and you use them correctly, rubber bands will not pull out your hair. I've been using rubber bands in her hair since she's been a baby and her hair has grown since she's been a baby so rubber bands is no problem with your hair just don't keep them in longer than a week or two um basically make sure your hair is moisturized you could put a little oil around each of the rubber band sections that you have okay so this is the next part i'm doing it bad because i replicated the other side to look like the other side i showed you guys so now i'm just sectioning off a um her hair in the back so i can prep her hair for her braid so at this point i'm gonna take some more carol's daughter which i'll try to show you guys but yeah the the exposure is too high so i'm going to just you know get clean sharp parts once again and And this hairstyle, um, I came up, I thought about this quick and on the spot. Like, it really didn't take long. It was probably, what we said here, probably about 35 minutes at the most. And probably most of that time came from the parts. So, yeah. Not a long hairstyle at all. So, I'm just, I'm putting some edge control and I'm just brushing, smoothing it up and getting ready for the braid because I want everything to be nice and neat into the braid because it's going to fall above the back of her hairline. So, basically, let's get the braid in three strands and we're going to braid that straight across her whole head. Trying to keep her head, keep her to hold her head still, but like I said, kids is gonna be kids. They wanna move how they move, regardless of how many times she tell them to keep their head one way. They follow the breed, and that's just that. So at this point, I just pull the hair up 
as I need it. I pull it up and make sure everything is sleek as possible doing this braid. And this is just a real fun hairstyle too. Um, it's really, really kid friendly. Also, it's nothing too grown for her. It's just something really, really nice and cute. And I just can't wait to see her pictures. Okay, so I'm going to just braid it down like about approximately halfway because I really don't need to braid it down all the way because I'm putting it up in the um, ponytail, which I'm about to show you guys. So that's the braid. So now with the rest of her hair, because she got two braids in the front and then she got a braid in the back. So I'm just going to part this in two. And yeah. No, she was not crying. I know y'all see her wiping her face, but she was not crying. She tends to do that a lot when I do her hair. Wipe her face, rub her nose. You know, that's just a thing that kids do when they get their hair done. And also at this point, I took her phone. So, yeah, she got to do something to keep busy. She yeah, sorry about that. Fire department. Okay, so this is the Hirsch part I came up with. Straight, low, neat part. Sorry about the fire department in the back, y'all. Sorry. So right now, I'm just uh, going to section her other side off until I finish this side. And look, I see dog here. I told you. No matter if I wash it, whatever. Is always one or some will see something. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm just putting some edge control in her hair and slicking it as slick as I can, throwing the braid up because that's which way I want it to go right up into the ponytail. And yeah, so all around I'm gonna make sure it's like moisturized with uh, the olive oil gel. And on her outer edges, that's where I put the edge control. Once again, I'm going to take two elastic bands and I'm going to wrap it until I can't wrap it no more in her hair. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side and we're going to be right back. Okay, so now we got four ponytails and three braids all in her hair. So two ponytails on each side of her head, one braid on each side, and one braid in the back. So now in the front of her hair, I'm going to take it and I'm just going to twist it. And I'm going to cross it over to the other side of her head, um, if you get that. I'm going to show it in the video also, but I just want you guys to know that I cross the top ones to, yeah, like that. So I'm crossing it right now. And I'm going to just add um, two elastic bands once again, just so it can hold very tight. Case one pop, because you know how elastic bands be. So I do two to just make sure it's secure. So I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I'm going to just twist it and then I'm going to cross it over to the other side to the back. And at this point, it look like, girl, I am over it. Is you done yet? <laughs> so two elastic bands once again, and that's going to be that. 
So at this point, now you got two ponytails instead of four, which I'm about to make it into one, one ponytail right now. I'm going to take two more elastic bands, put her head down so y'all can see the crisscross. And then I'm going to take an elastic band so they can the crisscrosses can all come together into one. Okay, at this point, like, bam, it's so nice. So, I could have left it like that, but I thought, you know, maybe not for the picture. So, I decided to twirl it, and then I'm going to say, okay, it needs some, it needs some moisture back there. So, I'm just going to add a little olive oil gel after I uh, untwirl this back, just so it can have shine to it. I want everything to have nice shine to it. So, I added some moisture to that. I'm going to twist it, and then I'm going to twirl it around and put it in a bun. So, that bun will just be sitting right there. Mm, you can see the style was so pretty. She looked so beautiful. She posed so good in the pictures. Okay, so, Bam! So this is the final look, you guys. I didn't show y'all the blingage that I added, but here you go, you guys. This is the final look, and I added two, um, what, I forgot what they're called, but I got them from Amazon. If you, they, oh yeah, they're pearl hair clips, so pearl hair clips, right from Amazon.